I didn't lie to you. We're not necessarily going to talk about the interior, but we kind of are. What do I mean by that? Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it is Josh with Premier Truck Sales and Rental. I want to thank you for coming along this week. This week I said we're going to talk about some of the hydraulics and some of the systems involved with that, which of course the most obvious part is, yep, right there. So this truck, like most other trucks now, are currently using an electric over hydraulic setup, which means there's not actually hydraulic controls in here. This joystick controls electric solenoids that go back to a solenoid pack in the hydraulic pack back there. The nice thing about that is, is we don't have to run nearly as many hydraulic lines all over the place, which of course makes it so we're less likely to blow a line, we're less likely to get a leak, and we're less likely to be stranded out on the road throwing hydraulic fluid all over the place. Big plus there. On top of that, this does give you very, very good control of what you're doing. It is a sensitive joystick, meaning it is not just all or nothing. It will give you part of the way. This does have a dead man switch on it, meaning you can move the joystick all you want and nothing's going to happen unless you've got this front button pressed. This truck has got to be one of the simplest trucks out there to operate. They've really made it super easy. And they call it the Automizer because there is some automation to it. But what I love about it is that it's automated, but it's not so automated that you don't have control. It, they've really found that great balance there. It's very simple to operate the arm. It's just out in, bring it back from the top of the truck and go ahead and dump it in. The fingers are controlled by these two buttons here. I mean, it doesn't get much simpler than that. You can set the packer to be automatic. So pretty much almost every time that you dump, that packer is gonna go back and make sure that you've got a clean hopper to dump into. It really overall is, I mean, the stop button's up, there's the packer button, there's the retract button, pump. I, I mean, there's not much to this. And that is the beauty of the design on this. Now, right up here, you can see the screen there. That is so you can see all the cameras on this truck. There are three cameras on this truck. There's one so you can see in the hopper, there's one out the back, and there's also one on the driver's side, that driver's side, up here so that way you can see back along the truck to see if there's any traffic coming. The nice thing about that is, is from this side, I can look at that screen and I can set it up so I know what is going on where and I can see all three things in one spot. If I wanted to figure out what was going on with the packer and see if there's any traffic coming up, I would have to look in the mirror and there. With this system, I can look just in that one spot. So there's some other great design features in this, whereas obviously the controls are mimicked from side to side. You can run the arm and everything from over on that side, or you can run it from over here. The beauty of about running things over here is first off, you've got access to all six gears in the transmission. So for a rural setting where you may have a mile in between homes, you can take off and go as fast as you need. On top of that, the pump shuts off at 35 miles an hour because they're figuring at 35 you're probably not going to be picking up a can. If you are, you're really talented. But the pump will shut off when you go above 35 miles an hour. As soon as you get below it, the pump will kick back on. That way you're set up for success on those longer distance routes also. The versatility in these trucks is one of the things that make them so great because that versatility translates to easily just return on investment. Speaking of hydraulics, there's one more item that I want to talk about that we at Premier do very differently that's very special. But it's outside, so let's go take a peek at that. We all know that the best way to stay out on the road is maintenance. If you do your maintenance, you're probably not going to have that much downtime. So what if I said you could do your maintenance without actually doing your maintenance? Because we took care of it. That is with the Lincoln system right here. This is an automatic greaser. Now, one of the reasons why we like the Lincoln system is because it's a subsidiary of SKF. SKF's a name you may have heard before. They're a bearing company. 
if there's anyone that is going to be super mindful of what grease they're putting out, it's gonna be a bearing company. All the couplers, all the other items, all the pivot points on this truck, you can rest assured are going to be taken care of. And a lot of grease systems kind of put out this watery, almost like 10 weight stuff. This is the good red number two grease that goes in here. That is what this system is designed for. Longevity is the whole reason why you put a system like this on. It's once again, it's being mindful of what can and or will happen down the road and doing everything that we can to mitigate that risk and make sure it's not an issue for you. Next week, we're gonna move on to something that's just a marvel in itself. We're gonna talk about the arm on the other side of this truck. You know, the spot where most of the work happens. So do me a favor, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, give us a thumbs up if you like this. And if you've got a question about this or anything that we've talked about, by all means, put that in the comments below. Looking forward to seeing you guys next week. As always, stay safe out there.